Hey, what's up guys? Over the past couple of days, an absolute ton of LEGO polybag images have been revealed. They span multiple different themes, including Minecraft, Technic, and more. But first, we are closing in on 11,000 subscribers. Let's try and hit that goal before the end of 2020. So, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. I make a lot of different LEGO videos that I'm sure you'd be interested in. Anyway, let's run through all these polybags, starting with Minecraft. This is the set number 31331, and it's called the Nether Jewel. This features two minifigures, Steve and a Wither Skeleton. And there's also this simple nether themed build in the background as well. Next, we have the Lego Duplo My First Space Rocket. This has the product number 30332, and this is nice and simple featuring a few large Duplo blocks to make the rocket, and then this interesting looking star. I'm not sure how common or uncommon that piece is, but it's interesting nonetheless. Up next, we have the LEGO Speed Champions McLaren Elva. This has the set number 30343, and honestly, this isn't for me. The front of the car just looks a mess, and then there's a decent amount of stickers compared to pieces in there too. Anyway, up next is the LEGO Star Wars Imperial Shuttle, set number 30388. This is one of the better looking polybags on this list. It's a decent size and has a nice amount of detail. Up next, we have the LEGO Disney Princess Rapunzel's Boat, set number 30391. You get two minifigures in this polybag, Rapunzel and Pascal. The boat build is basic and small, but hey, it's better than nothing. Next is the LEGO Friends Flower Cart, set number 30413. This comes with two minifigures and a couple of different builds. Next we have the LEGO Technic Helicopter, set number 30465. This looks okay. It resembles a helicopter, and it also looks like there's a cog on the bottom of the build which can rotate the propeller. Next, we have the LEGO Dots Photo Holder Q, product number 30557. This design it definitely isn't for me, but hey, it's a cool concept. Next, we have the LEGO Classic Build a Snail, set number 30563. In this polybag, it looks like you've got four different variations to choose from. All of them look okay, but they aren't anything special. Next, we've got the LEGO Classic Build Your Own Monster, product number 30564. Similar to the snail, with this one, you've got three variations to choose from, and they all look pretty cool. Next up is the LEGO Creator Clown, product number 30565. This honestly looks really cool. I would love to see multiple color variations to choose from in the future as well. I think that would be really cool to have them lined up next to each other. Next, we have the LEGO City Police Jet Ski, set number 30567. This looks okay. I can imagine a lot of people purchasing multiple ones of these to place in their LEGO cities, maybe in a boat chase or something like that. Up next, we have the LEGO City Pop-Up Store, product number 30569. This comes with a LEGO employee minifigure, a LEGO Pop-Up Store, and a couple of printed pieces to resemble LEGO sets. Next, we have the LEGO Creator Muscle Car, product number 30577. This looks good. I can imagine that this is a fun little build. Second to last now, we have the LEGO Creator German Shepherd, product number 30578. With this polybag, you have the option to build either the German Shepherd, what looks like a tarantula, or a snake. My favourite has to be the snake. Finally, we have the LEGO Ninjago Titanium Mini Mech, set number 30591. Again, you have the option to choose from two different builds, However, the original one looks the better one to me. But that is all the LEGO polybags for 2021 that we have images for as of right now. 
Let me know in the comments below what your favourite polybag from this video is. Mine has to be the Imperial Shuttle. I really like that ship and I really hope we get a massive scale UCS one in the future. But if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe with notifications on, you'll be notified as soon as I post a new video, as well as when I post on my community tab, so you'll stay up to date with all the latest set images and information. Plus, you help me reach my goal of 11,000 subscribers before the end of the year. But that is going to do it for today, leave a like if you did enjoy, and I will see you in the next one.